Okay, let us proceed now for the continuation of homogeneous e equations. Okay, another examples. Example. Okay. Solve for x dy minus y dx minus square root of x squared minus y squared dx equal to 0. Now, hey, if we're going to look into this equation, we have to decide which variable we're going to change. Remember, the most convenient should be used. If we're going to use your x, remember your dx, we're, go we're going also to change your dx. E di magiging mas masyadong mahirap kapag i-distribute natin dito. Okay, ang pinakamadaling nakita ko is yung let y is equal to vx. And then, your dy is equal to v dx plus x dv. Then, we have, uh, let us change your y and your dy. We have now your x and then your dy natin. We have v dx plus x dv minus y which is vx vx dx minus square root x squared minus v squared x squared dx equal now to zero distribute natin we have x v dx plus x squared dv minus V, uh, x, V, copy natin, dx, minus common factor is square, uh, x squared, x squared, 1 minus V squared, dx equal to 0. Okay. Ano ang pwede nating uh, masimplify? We have this one. Therefore, we have x squared, dv, transpose, Square root ng 1 minus v squared. Since the square root of your x squared is x dx. Then we have, using variable separable, pwede na natin pagsamayin lahat ng b at lahat ng x. We have dv over square root 1 minus v squared equal to x dx over x squared. Okay, therefore, we have dv over 1 minus v squared. This one is equal to arc sine, arc sine v equal to ln x plus ln c. Okay, we have, but your v, balik natin. Okay, if your y is equal to v over x, therefore, our v is equal to y over x. Therefore, this one is arc sine y over x is equal to ln x c. Okay. This one is the final answer. Okay. okay, another example. Okay. We have solve the equation example. We solve the equation y prime is equal to y over x minus square root of x y okay let okay therefore this one is also equal to dy over dx is equal to y over x minus square root of x y okay now uh we cannot use the variable separable again because we have x minus uh, square root of x, y. Therefore, we're going to use the homogeneous equations. First, we have to decide uh, 
which variable are we going to change into another uh, another equation therefore we have cross multiply we have x minus square root of x y dy equal to y dx okay kung dy ang gagamitin natin uh, y ang papalitan natin look at this one the and dy mahihirapan pa tayo mag simplify oh, let x, although the same answer din mag-aarrive, kaya lang medyo matatagal lang kayo. Let x is equal to vy, therefore we have dx is equal to vdy plus ydv. Okay, therefore we have, let us uh, change your x into vy minus square root x is v y times y and then times dy equal to y and dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. Therefore, we have v y dy minus square root y squared v dy is equal to v y dy plus y squared dv. Okay, makakancel natin ito at saka ito kasi magiging subtraction. Then we have uh, negative y squared, square root of y squared is y square root of v dy equal to y squared dv. Okay, therefore, this one, anong pwedeng mangyari? We have, um, hmm? <coughs> therefore, we have negative, 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 y dy over y squared is equal to dv over v raised to 1 half. Okay, and then we have what? Uh, negative, negative dy over y is equal to v raised to negative one half. Oh, uh, dv. Okay, therefore we have v raised to negative one half dv. Plus dy over y equal to 0. Integrate, integrate, integrate. V raised to negative 1 half dv. Therefore, the derivative of the derivative. Therefore, the integral of this one is 2. Is 2 v raised to 1 half plus ln y. Tapos, equal to C. But your, uh, either, or this one is 2 square root of uh, x over y plus ln y is equal to C. Okay, this one is your final answer.